Well, good afternoon, church. It's great to be here on this Thursday afternoon. And uh, as I come, I do bring God's word to you uh, to inspire, to encourage, and to lift up and to build. And we know that that is certainly given to us as we go into God's word. So today, as he moved me into sharing a reflection, um, he took me into James, and it comes out of James uh, 5, and we're all familiar with this, the prayer of faith in that chapter. And um, we know that that is our connection that we have with our Father God, is, is prayer time. And it is that communication time that we take to be able to be strengthened, to be refreshed, and to be renewed. And just to take that time to praise the Lord and uh, to ask him to just help us to stay focused no matter where our day has taken us. He is right there with us to hear us and to be able to have that communion with him. So, you know, it's not just about uh, um, not being able to speak to him everywhere we go or whatever we're involved in. Um, I find for myself that, you know, it's great for that morning uh, start is to go into praise and thanking him for the day and asking him for strength to endure and persevere through the day and not knowing what could be brought my way. Uh, and I encourage that, and I'm sure that most of us as his children are in that awareness that we need him in everything, and he certainly is a part of everything with us. And he desires to partake and uh, be a part of everything. So it keeps us focused to know that we are not alone. And, uh, you know, we we open up and express our love for him and we thank him. And um, I cannot speak enough how much uh, I have really just been filled with great joy and just abundant love when uh, I have that moment of communion with Father, just talking to him and communicating with him. Uh, it's very important for us as his children to do this because as we know in any relationships that we have, whether it's between our with our children or it's with our spouse or it's with those that we walk with, communication keeps us open and keeps us moving in ways that brings us into uh, building on. And uh, I certainly do um, enjoy building the relationship with Father God back communicating with him. And I encourage that, uh, you know, so when we talk about prayer and going to the Father in prayer, it simply is that communion and that communication that we have with our, our one that uh, we serve and the one that rules over our lives. So here again, with this scripture being here from uh, James, let me just say that this says the prayer of a righteous man is powerful and it's effective. And as most of you know, as well as myself personally, uh, prayer moves, I mean, it moves the mountains and it does move and bring us into places that, you know what, it's only been because Father God is listening and he answers our prayers. It may not be the way we want it, but we do know that uh, prayer can just uh, give us strength to push through those problems. And we are in those times that we certainly know what prayer has done for us in this past year. And uh, we keep that line of communication open because Father God is always listening to us and he is uh, wanting to share, be a part of everything. So I encourage brothers and sisters, stay focused, know that you're never alone and he's right there with you and he is always listening. So, you know, go through your day, speak to him, talk to him, carry out that conversation and just let that joy be filled in abundance in your being because uh, words can't really describe it. You have to experience it. So communicate and commune, commune with the Father because he is certainly embracing each and every one of us with great love. So those are my words uh, that I share from my heart, but the word that I really do share is here in God's word. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. We know that. We claim that, and we also have been a part of that for other people. So keep talking, keep speaking to the Lord, and make that time and everything, and just watch and see what manifests. It's just beautiful. So let us pray. 
Father God, we are so grateful, Lord. Thank you, Father. Oh, Lord, we come to you, Father, as you hear us. We lift this up, Father, with gratitude. And, Father, we, we set and we come at rest, Lord, when we make that time, Lord, to uh, come and express what's in our hearts. And, Father, we know that you're already very aware what's in our hearts. But, Father, it is so good to know that we can come and speak words to you, Father, and praise you and thank you and seek out more of who you are, Lord, and not just what you do for us. It's just about praising you and thanking you, Father, and being able to come knowing that, Lord God, that we can pray for others and we can ask things for other people, Lord, and just knowing that we have the assurance that we are being heard, Lord. And Father, we, we come knowing that we are your children. And as your word says, the prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. And Lord, we have experienced that in many things as we've walked this journey here. And we continue, Father, to, to be uh, open, Lord, to be reminded that we are never alone and that you're always with us. Help us, Lord, to stay focused on you. Oh, Father, we just praise you and we thank you, Lord. And Father, we know that your presence is always with us when we open up our, our hearts and our being to allow the Spirit, Father, to move and be connected to the Spirit that's within us. And that, Father, we will feel renewed and refreshed in everything we do. And uh, we can persevere and we can endure, Lord, from your strength that is given to us through this time of communion with you, Lord. So, Father, we just thank you, Lord, for all that you do for us. And we give all of this, Father, to bring you the glory. In your Son's name, Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. <laughs>